Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with the makeup Medusa, Medusa's makeup products that I received recently and uh, I shared with you how it came packaged in this pretty bag right here and I did a, un, like an unbagging video and we swatched a few things and I promised you all that I would come back and do a makeup look. So that's what I'm here to do today. I have um, all of the products here in front of me, including the palette that I received in the ice cream beauty bag and that sample of mascara. So anyhow, I've got several eyeshadows here to play with today and we've got a couple of small little eyeshadow palettes. We also have this beautiful, it's like a highlighter. It's a baked eyeshadow slash highlighter. And I thought we'd use it today. And then we've got this little trio here from a company called Hello Style that came in the bag, which is an option. That topper shade is so pretty. And let's see. Then we had from trifle cosmetics a little duo it's got like a pink one and like an olive green one that i thought was really cute that came in the bag and so we may dip into one of these shades that pink one's kind of calling my name there so i don't know we might just do something like pink and purplish today how does that sound and then of course we've got a couple of tools to use we've got this brush which I thought I would use for my eyebrows and we've got the sponge which I can use for my foundation so with all of that in mind I'm gonna uh, put on some foundation and I'm gonna do my brows with this brush and then I'm gonna come back and we'll get started with the eyeshadow okay y'all I'm back and I've got my brows done my foundation is on and I did some concealer and that's pretty much where I stopped. I did use the the sponge and it worked just fine. I used the eyebrow, it's an eyeliner slash eyebrow brush and it works fine and I'll probably come back to that at some point in this video. But for right now, what I wanna do is I wanna grab a fluffy brush. This one is from Lurella. It's the uh, LC21. It's kind of a fanned out fluffy brush and I like using it for shades in the crease. And you can see that it's just really nice. It covers a lot of area. So I thought today um, I would try to do a purple look. So I'm going to start out with this purple shade in the palette it's called Roxy and we're just going to tap that in the crease and this when I swatched this palette this is the one that really didn't have as much pigment as the others but it's going on just fine on the eyes and this I mean you you could tell a lot from swatches but not everything so it may not have good transferring power you know from your finger to your arm or to your hand you know when you're swatching it but then when you pick it up on a brush and lay it on your eyelids with some eyeshadow primer then it's another story so anyway we got a nice little purple base going so I like to just tapping it on and then starting to blend it into the crease. Get an even an even layer of color. And 
and this seems a little bit patchy but I'm gonna just put on a little bit more and try to get that spot sometimes you have a hot spot when you do makeup and it's challenging to get things on evenly and so now I've got more eyeshadow on this side than I do this side so let me put a little bit more over here and we're gonna try to make both eyes look the same purples are the color that most companies are challenged with the most purples are hard to do purples are hard to, to make and you know and get right and just a little side note here when you work with purples if you struggle with purple circles the purple eyeshadow is going to draw out those purple circles which is what's happening right now so I will probably add on another layer of concealer <laughs> at some point so anyway but for right now I'm gonna s switch brushes and I want to go in with this hello style that they sent and I want to use that uh, dark like purplish maroon color and I've got a smaller brush here that I'm using from Lorella, it's the LC24. And I'm just gonna tap into this maroonish color and it's kind of a reddish maroon. Anyway, I just wanna go right here. Just a little bit deeper in the crease on this like outer half. Just, just right out here and blend it up into the purple. And this is going to kind of give us a, like a little bit of a pinky hue, but it's also going to deepen things up a little bit. And I'm not taking this down onto the lid at all. I didn't want this to be like an outer, uh, like a V shape. I just want it to be right there in the depth of the crease. And this is pretty pigmented right here. So again, this is the uh, Hello Style eyeshadow trio. Really cute. Really cute little trio. Okay, so we've got we've got something going here. All right, now I'm gonna wipe this brush off. I've got my magic eraser here, and I'm gonna go into this little trifle duo here. I'm gonna use that light pink color and with the same brush. It's kind of a peachy pink, really. Anyway, I'm using the mirror on the inside of the palette. And I'm going to put that right here on the lid, on the outer half of the lid. That's pretty. This, this is a soft buttery kind of um, satin finish shadow it's really easy to work with and this is a subtle color but it it goes really well with what I'm what I'm doing
Okay, now let me grab another brush. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one from Complex Culture. And I wanna go back into this palette from Medusa and I wanna pick up a little bit of that red. Which is like a pinky kind of a red. And I want to go right here underneath the lash line with it. Just ever so slightly, just that outer that outer half. Just like that. I'm just picking up the shadow right there on the tip of the brush. And I'm just working it back into the corner to meet that other, those purples. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, now I want to try something different. This is going to seem kind of crazy, but I want to use that a pop of that blue. So I'm going to grab another complex culture brush and I'm going to pick up just the slightest bit of blue. And I just want to hit this inner part of the crease right through here. Just to give our purple just a little bit more of a bluish hue, right? Just right through there. Just like a inner V kind of thing without going down onto the lid. Just for something different today. I just wanted to mix like some different colors like blues and reds and purples together and pinks and the whole the goal is to have like a pink and purple eye look but I just wanted a little bit more color to flip. okay this is what I've got so far and I still want to use the Medusa's highlighter shade the baked highlighter shade and so I want to put some uh, like in some strategic areas on my eyes and on my cheeks as well and so anyway let me finish my face makeup put on the highlighter and some mascara and we'll do lips together in a minute okay y'all I'm back this is the finished look with the eyes and now I'm ready to do lips I'm gonna use this lipstick this jelly pong pong lipstick with the birthday balloons that they sent in the box and the lip gloss and this is like a peachy nude really creamy and really nude but I'm not using a lip liner today I'm just going with a nude lip and now the Gerlactic uh, lip gloss that they sent over this is forgot the name of it. it was on the card but anyway it's got like a clear sparkle I'm gonna juice it up juice up the look with some lip gloss I like this doe foot Ah. 
really pretty really pretty natural look not sticky at all so normally I would wear like a pink colored or a berry colored lippy with a look like this but I'm not mad at it at all I think it goes really well nudes just to about go with anything um, I'm looking on the card here to see the name of this lips lip gloss it just says Girlactic lip gloss it was probably on the box the name of it and I think I have the box still on the can here let's check it out gloss some more it's called sparkle love so anyway it takes on the color of your lips almost real natural looking so anyway I'm happy with the look I'm gonna spray everything down I'm using the item one hit and uh, the foundation that I use today is from YSL and the concealer as well the eyebrows were done with the brow gown this little stub of a pencil the bronzer that I used today was from per cosmetics it's called it's a mi mineral glow it's kind of it's a bit on the dark side but you know I just use a light hand it smells like chocolate it's awesome and then the blush today is from Bow Bay Beauty. It's called Blushing Blush. It's a really bright pink. Let me show it to you. Just a little compact here. Lots of pigment in this one. The eyeshadow primer was the Stuck On You by the Beauty Crop. Love this stuff. Can't get away from it. And then, of course, the mascara was the Medusa's um, makeup. It's called Witch Lash. Which I wouldn't wear this if I wasn't wearing lashes because it takes like three coats just to get the volume built up unless you're using a lash primer. But anyway, I'm, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. And I will use it. Okay, the highlighter today. I did put highlighter on my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, and the inner corner highlight. Um, on the eyes and the inner portion of the bottom the lid itself was from the Medusa's makeup yes please baked eyeshadow and I tried this w dry and w with a wet brush I haven't really used it with my finger except in my demo the other day when I was doing the unbagging and that may be how I go back to using it but anyway it's a really it's a light sheen you know but it is buildable and it is pretty and I think it went well with the eye look so anyway you have to let me know what you think down in the comments about the makeup look and everything and how it all came together and uh, this little palette is fun y'all the electro palette I'm gonna play with it some more so anyway all right y'all give me a thumbs up on the video please thanks for stopping by spending a little time with me today and we say thank you very much. All right, y'all. God bless you today is my prayer. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.